Following his Olympic defeat, Usain makes a decision that will change his life. He takes on a new trainer, Glenn Mills, then head coach of the Jamaican Olympic team. <laughs> Mills has molded dozens of Jamaica's finest sprinters. For Mills, there is only one focus, the Olympic Games in Beijing. He was recovering from a torn hamstring. The whole question of muscle strength and overall body weakness was some of the areas that we looked at. Well, he was young and inexperienced and didn't quite understand fully what it meant to be a professional athlete. Izzy was enthusiastic, he was determined to do well, but there are a number of things that we had to, you know, point out to him about this dedication to training, application, following up this, the little details. At six foot five and weighing 220 pounds, Usain is unusually tall for a sprinter. Mills forces him to concentrate on strength and speed, pushing Bolt's body to the limit in weight training sessions lasting one and a half hours, three times a week. The whole question of competitiveness against the top athletes in the world. He had to learn how to compete with them, not to be intimidated and that sort of thing. He has some very special qualities, both as a competitor and as a person. He has the ability to focus almost instantly. I, he doesn't have difficulty in understanding and assimilating the coaching instructions. And he learns very fast. Coach, go 40, 40, 30. 40, 30, must do it. 40, 40. All right. Just one distance. He's not the workaholic, but he will work hard if he finds himself in a situation where it is necessary. Like if he suffers a setback and he has to train twice a day, he'll make the effort. Yes, we can. Imagine me, a black president, man. The fastest black president. <laughs> We train on the grass track, and then we go on the Chevron. You can't train on the Chevron 24-7 that you start have shin, shin problems because it's so hard, so. He has to battle with his love for um, having a good time, parties, etc., and his consistency of needing to train hard um, over at a nine-month period, and sometimes he doesn't get it right, and it puts a lot of pressure on him to pick himself up and get back to the level where he needs to be. We have great respect and love for each other. Um, he respects me as his coach and mentor, and, you know, he expresses his gratitude and, and so on, and we have a good understanding. The session today will be tough. This 30-minute massage prepares Usain for the pain ahead. Shoulders down. That's it. Dying. I think a lot of people just, they see you run and they say, oh, it looks so easy. You really look effortless. But before it gets to that point, it's hard. It's like hard work. Staying day out, sacrifice. Staying day out. Just dying. 
this time when you run and you just want to stop, you just want to give up, like, to, to hell with this, I just want to go home. The day when you get up and you know what, you have a training today, you know it's going to be intense, and you're like, oh, God, I don't want to go today, but you got to go. But it's so hard, and a lot of people don't know. My coach always says, in a couple of years, we're not going to have any trap because we're going to take all of it home. <laughs> We are not used to seeing you suffering. <laughs> That's why you guys are here. Show the true story, in it? This here is the reality? Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes is where the work is done. Everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run.